oneness, that the nature of oneness is the experience of duality, that potentially you might not get lost for eons in duality. That's one way of putting it, yeah. So it is this not getting lost in duality that we're talking about, not the end of duality. Because right. for the most part, if you go from this great expansion into the extreme contraction, there's this idea of like, oh, something's gone terribly wrong. Clearly, I fucked up. Clearly. <laughs> As opposed to acceptance, understanding, relaxing, or I don't know, some, some aspect of recognition of like all is well, even if it comes to that, because that's the nature of things. All of those are pointers that you've run across that can be, quote, applied to what we're talking about or, or restated as pointers to, to that. Is, is the experience of getting lost just that you're, you're totally identified with the part that's lost? From your... Yeah, and the, one of the ways I... I'm currently talking about it is that it is a contraction. Right. So when you are contracted, yes. then you are this independent entity which has to navigate through the maze of you know duality. Mm -hmm. Because your point of being is this isolated thing. When there is an expansion then there is this union, the implicit union between yourself and that which you are navigating through. So it is not that you are this independent thing navigating through something else, that the navigation itself is part of the unity. You are part of the unity. That which is moving around is part of the unity. And so all that is happening is part of the unity. So that there's no possibility of you getting lost in that because there is you are not isolated from that. So, so you, you just said that which is being navigated through? Yes. So there's the, there's like the... In the contraction, there's you right. and that which you're navigating through. They're, they are independent of one another. So this is the, the great reality and you're trying to navigate through it. Right. As you expand, yourself expands, there is the recognition that you and that are contiguous. You are not a separate thing navigating through this other thing, but you and it are of the same thing. And so the question of you being lost in it just dissolves. There's no sense of that. Nick says, did I understand you correctly that you just said the teaching is about not getting lost in duality and not about the end of duality? If that is correct, does that mean that, quote, being in duality does not stop completely after realization? Yes, that is exactly what I was pointing out. So what happens is 
that there is experientially for seekers often a movement from this contraction into expansion in which the identity, your identity, is ex expands so that you feel that you are everything. So there is the sense, I am oneness. There is, I am that. I am that oneness. And it is at this point that a lot of seekers become teachers. So there's a lot of teachings around this. Because there is the sense that there, there is nothing other than this. There is just this. And it, that is the non-dual experience. And so, but what I'm pointing at is, is something beyond that. It's like a reintegration in which there is a identity that is operating in duality as a, quote, separate entity, an entity with identity that is, has no possibility of being independent. So the unity is implicit. The unity of the duality is implicit. So it, that it that the duality is the unity made manifest. And you and I are this unity made manifest as entities in the same way that Nisargadatta Maharaj or Ramana Maharshi were entities with names and forms and personalities and reactions and qualities and characteristics which is dualistic in nature you see what was absent is the sense of being independent in that so the duality remains. And that's why the sage, as we, as we talk about it in this teaching, the sage is perfectly ordinary. Because the sage isn't walking around saying, I am one with everything. I am, you know, I am the, the bliss of consciousness. I am, you know, I am God, basically. There's no characterization of oneself as that. So the sage is simply another aspect of the whole. 